Say I'm interviewing uh, Eric Hallett, the famous inventor of the uh, LEAP 3D stereo system. And what does LEEP stand for again? I forgot. <laughs> Large Expanse Extra Perspective. Large Expanse Extra Perspective. And that means you can see, what, 180 degrees field of view? No, but we're working on that. But uh, 140 is about as far as you could claim. For 140. Well, that's about the limit of uh, human vision, right? Oh, no. Human no? vision is about, oh, oh. It's over 200 degrees. Over 200 on each including eye? Including the no, no. Include, oh, both eyes. Two eyes, including the peripheral. Oh, wow. So that's what we want to serve on the next. Uh, on the, on the next, next version of this. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And this is the uh, the hot spot where all these ideas get invented. Well, no. no? <laughs> we didn't live here when you. that was invented. Oh. And that's what we had to move because of that. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. This is a redu this is a reduced version of it, right? Oh, this, yeah. Yeah. You used to have what? Well, I rented the space in yeah. Japan for many, many years. Oh, okay. You had what, a 3,000 square foot? Or? Uh, I forget now. It's yeah. about 30 by... 30 by 150. How much is 30 by 150? So, yeah. 15, 45, yeah. Well, anyway, yeah. well, you made history, and your your biography is in the Wikipedia. Oh, yeah. Did you know that? Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay. And uh, I guess I might as well put myself in the picture saying that I now finally have met the inventor <laughs> who gave me his first the camera system and uh, I think it was the second. Oh, the second one. Okay. What number is on? It's number thirteen, which is kind of a bad luck number. But uh, well, we, we it was the third one, second or third one shipped. Yeah. And actually, I need to bring it over here. This is where it is. Right. Here it is. I guess you can hold it. This, this is not a part of it. This that's is, not this part of it. Tripod. No. Right. That's my tripod. But you know what makes a nice picture? Is when you just go like this. <laughs> like I'm just oh, trying to make. I'm just making video right now. Yeah. Ulrich did that. Oh, Ulrich. Yeah, he made he made some stills like this that were pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I'm just making like a little it's video like, documentary. It's like four eyes. Yeah. Four eyes. Yeah. Ah. That's a pretty little setup, though. Yeah. Well, we should make sure that doesn't fall down. Yeah. That is very rare. Only three were actually. What these? No, the your camera. Oh, the camera. Yeah. Only three were ever completely and, and fabricated. And you got it when 15 years ago? 25, I think. Oh, 25, and it's still. 1985, working. and it's still working. I have oh, the you only. Repaired it, you repaired it a couple of times, right? Yeah, yeah. I repaired at least one major. Well, several repairs. One is to uh, simplify the electronics and the very the forest of switches that were handmade in they there handmade, but or something like that but there were a lot of switches and then if you had your dial just halfway through which is very easy to do like a uh, it the, word, the detents didn't work satisfactorily right quite so 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 then it would be an open circuit and then the camera wouldn't work but you wouldn't find out until after or you wouldn't even be sure if it worked or not, you see, that's, I suppose, but I guess you would listen to the clicks. Mm. The other thing is that um, what happened is I do did, you, do it did. Do I change one of these here? I don't remember that. I'll, I'll go back to a half second or whatever it was. Yeah, but right now it's all on automatic. I, dis I disconnected all that stuff. Oh, this is all disconnected? Uh, the only thing that is connected right now is the F-stop. And then it has to, it's just an automatic, no, you cannot choose the actual uh, exposure time. I took that all out. Oh. And um, because it was too, I wired around it. You know, I looked at your circuit board, you know, I took it apart. I took it apart when I had, when it was on the tripod, but it fell in Chicago. And um, and that, what, what happened is there was this little metal plate with, uh, you know the shutter really a uh, shutter you know that um it either grabs onto or something like that and then you put an impulse through it to release the magnet from the uh, metal plate when you cut yeah. the, you the shutter slides across and right. opens and then another one comes slides across to close it yeah well anyway but that mechanism 
a little piece, I think of metal or something fell off and I think I either had to solder it back on or okay. I don't know if glue I would have... I think you told me that one. Yeah, I told you. I wrote phone. you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, I knew it wasn't going to, camera was, wasn't going to work anymore. So I said, well, time to open it up <laughs> and see if I could do anything. Well, you did. Yeah. And so I, so I got back working back again and then I've taken quite a few pictures with this. And, um, so one day I hope to be able to show them to the world and, uh, you know, it would be some kind of like art exhibit or something like that because I have a lot of beautiful slides. And yeah, you do. Yeah, and you hopefully Eric. Today. Yeah, and hopefully Eric will come to Hawaii to see some of the rest, and they're all in like different kinds of boxes, just like his place. <laughs> so I can't even find. I need to put them all together in one place, but yeah. Well, let me show you the shop and... Uh, oh, oh, you haven't shown me the shop yet. Oh, no, okay. I, I brought a little... I brought enough to build a, a decent workshop. Oh, okay. Wow. Everything looks the same here because we don't we accumulate too much junk. Yeah. This is, oh, this, this is great. This is the laundry. This doesn't have much of my stuff in it except the electronic bench. This is an uh, electrical bench or electronic bench yeah. from the last uh, thing, but I've never used it since we've moved it. Yeah. But I'll show you the shop. Oh, okay. You have like a machine shop? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll see, find out soon Power enough. Power tools. In here. Power tools. And a few hand tools. And this spot while Yeah. Watch out for this cat litter box on the left here. We'll turn the light on for you. Okay. There's a little. Oh yeah. Little oh well. Wow. machine and a sheet metal break and press and so on and. A yeah. Yeah. No. 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 Yeah. I have a lot of stuff, but it's you know all kind of packed up. I can't keep it out. You know. And, um, all right. Yeah. So you have a little small drill and then a sander and you say this is a, is this a milling machine? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a I see. Tabletop machine. Yeah. Well, no, this is very, very nice. Well, beautiful. And sanders and more drill press and, oh, over here, this is a, a, a sheet metal cutter maybe or something, a bender. Yeah. It's, well, it's a break. Oh. It's a combination break and shear and, and roller. Oh, wow. Bender. Wow. How did you uh, find, and this is like a punch or something, oh, a, a corner punch. A corner right? notcher. Corner notcher, yeah. Oh, and I see there's a little welder over there. Right. Yeah. This is for other products more more recently. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is for wine glasses. <laughs> I made it many, many years ago. Oh, yeah. Well, I remember that you had an organizing on. system that you had were, were trying oh, to invent. That's, in, that's still working in the dining room there. Oh, it's in the dining room. Well, I'm trying okay. to market that. Now. Oh, you're still trying to market that. Okay. Because I heard about that probably t maybe 10 years ago. <laughs> uh, yeah, you heard about Upfile. Oh, Upfile. That's the only thing that I that know. That was the first manifestation of it. Oh, okay. Well, I've grown a lot since then. Yeah. Well, I'm very impressed. It's, it's a pretty useful shop. It's a very it's useful shop. Yeah. You know, I never clean it up after I finish something, so it's yeah. cumulative. Oh, right, right. Oh, all the mess on the floor over here, you see? All the cuttings and things like that, yeah. Well, it's great to have all the space to be able to do this. That's true. Yeah, That's true. so even in though fact, it isn't... this place, the place we moved from, didn't have a concrete floor in, in the cellar. Oh. It a brick floor, and, that was, and it leaked, so you were in mud a lot of the time. That was a Oh, that was, it was a gorgeous house, but it had a barn. Yeah. Show. And it didn't mm. have a barn, so. Right. Okay. Okay, so I guess you're going to show me the. Uh, I think this is finished for now.